Hello and welcome back once more to the Single Malt Review. We're going to be having a bit of a bourbon heavy session today in our lineup of reviews. They seem to have been piling up and starting with Bullet Bourbon. What do we know about this one? Well, owned by Diageo, um, well, bottled by the Bullet Distilling Company, Louisville, Kentucky. Mm, so a bit of a Scottish connection there. Diageo, obviously, is one of the um, Scotch whiskey mega corps mm. there. And this is their... Uh, mm -hmm. They're whack at the whole bourbon thing, and I don't mm. think it's too bad either. Um, as for what it really is, uh, it used to be used to be a fairly um, fairly poorly kept secret that it was produced at Four Roses, so it was Four Roses distillate there. But um, I thought that contract expired some years ago, and although they have built their own the Bullet Distillery mm. this year, in fact, in March I think it was finished. Um, there's no way that's going to be what's in here. We'll have to wait a few years for, for your sort of bullet by bullet. So exactly what is um, what is going on in terms of the spirit in here? I really don't know. I've had a quick look around the internet and I could find absolutely nothing. Um, so if someone knows whether it's uh, still Four Roses or whether it's something else, um, do let us know because it's always interesting to find out. Look, it's a good 45 percenter. Middle mm -hmm. row as far as strength goes. Do bullet produce other expressions? They do. Older, they do. They they did just bullet um, bullet mm. whiskey for a very very long time, and that uh, underwent a few permutations. But they now do a ten year old, which oh. seems to be increasingly fashionable, and a rye. Now mm. uh, we can't get the ten year old over here, or at least I haven't found it. But the rye we can, and I've had mm. a few requests for rye recently. There are so, some good rye whiskies yeah, out there. Yeah. I may may pick one of those up, and mm. we can have a look there. But anyway, this is the very very standard bourbon here, no age statement. But mm. um, was I to take a swing, I'd say it's probably seven eight years old, mm. uh, which is a fairly safe bet to make for most bourbon. Mm. That's oh quite a lot of spirit. It's very spirit forward on the nose. Mm. A uh, medium sweet, uh, corny sort of maltiness. Uh, using both of those terms quite loosely. Well, it's funny you say maltiness because there is actually it's quite uncommon to mm. get maltiness in bourbon, and this being the one owned by the big Scotch whisky yeah. producer, there is a significant, significant maltiness going on in here. Mm. Um, it's a sort of a rounder, well, maltier, sweeter, more honey sweet flavour, and less. Less sort of wood sweet mm. vanilla flavour than you normally get out of most bourbons, but it's still quite, quite rich and quite, quite There is a little whiff to me. of uh, wood smoke on there, though. Mm. There's mm. quite a lot of, it comes to me as char rather than smoke mm. necessarily, but I think we're dealing with pretty charred old barrels there, which again, pretty common for bourbon. Well, not going to be old barrels, are they? Uh, uh, well, you know, old charred old, as in me just using loose oh, language, gotcha. but uh, no, no, they really <laughs> certainly, mm. quite strictly, will not be old barrels. Fresh barrels. Yeah, no order in the spirit. Mm -hmm. mm, excuse me. Oh, oh, yeah. So I, am, I'm quite a fan of this one. This to me sits mm. right bang in the middle of the sweet and savoury bourbon spectrum. Mm. It is ostensibly quite a sweet bourbon, and many of them are. But all around the edges of this, it has savoury notes mm. that I think do it a lot of favours in terms of staying really, really fresh on the palate without getting sort of cloying like some of those sweet bourbons yeah. can. That balancing act between sweet and savoury is good. It's putting me in mind of um, oranges. First off, there's a little bit of orange flavour there, mm. but also the way you can say in cooking, oranges can obviously be sweet, or you can have uh, on a slightly more savoury end, you can have orange sauce mm. on duck or other meat. It's like that. It's kind of like it could go in either direction. It would complement either set of flavours well, sweet or savoury. Yeah. To me, that's coming through as a sort of an orange peel, like mm. maybe a preserved orange peel or a uh, sort of a heated, burned orange peel. Um, that's sort of sweet, but also just very slightly bitter and very yeah. fresh at the same time. Uh, there's huge amounts of honeyed nuts. There's mm. some sort of toasted honey cashews in there. Sort of sweet, light flavoured nuts. So think cashew, think um, yeah, again, vanilla, maybe even a little pistachio. Almonds, little toffee. Actually, more than a little toffee, quite mm. a lot of toffee. Some hints of nougat. There's quite a lot going on, and yeah. it's a less spicy bourbon and more of mm. a more of a sweet, nutty, mm, more and more of a foodie bourbon than you mm. normally get. There's less with the cinnamon, less with the sort of clove and allspice in there. They're there. But it is much more about the sort of full flavours, the nuttiness, mm. the sweetness, the honey, the richness. And 
I don't mind that at all. I think yeah. this one's really pretty good. Yeah, the body, it's not uh, too light. You know, for a lower strength bourbon like this, not low obviously, but mm. it is a risk that it could start feeling a bit thin when you're used to stuff at a much higher proof. But no, it balances that well. It's not syrupy and heavy. It's not thin and watery either. It's right in the middle. Yeah. This is a very good kind of like the pivot on the seesaw kind of a bourbon. Not excessively sweet or savoury. Not excessively um, heavy or light. Right in the middle. Very versatile. Would cater to all bourbon palettes, I think. Yeah, I, I really like it. Um, mm. Scores for this one, I'm going to give this one an 87, which is only mm. one point below what I gave the hugely, hugely more premium uh, Blantons. So that should mm. tell you what you need to know about what's a, not a budget bourbon, but um, it's a fairly middle of the road one in terms of mm. price, and I think it's super, super solid. What's yeah. your opinion? I rated it an 88. Mm. It's up there with you know, a lot of our premium bourbons we've tried recently. Very accessible, but very complex and deep without being pretentious about it too so there you go wherever it comes from mm. it's working for us it's a really really good cheap -er bourbon and um yeah there we go recommended we'll just have to mm. have a look at a slightly more um slightly less middle of the road slightly more premium one um next on the bourbon list mm. we might freshen up with a wee bit of scotch whiskey just to keep our palates on their toes as mm. it were Anyway, this has been the Singamont Review. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back. Sanja.